everyone, it's Maria here from Pepperly Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'd like to thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be doing a comparison video basically for the three, um, I think, major stamp platforms that are available on the market. Um, so you have the Misty, which was one of the more the original ones that started all this off. And um, I've done videos before where I've compared the Misty and the Tonic Tim Holtz stamp platform. Um, I will link those videos below in the description box, this one. I'm not going to go through the whole performance thing again because those videos have already covered it and I'll just be reinventing the wheel and there's no point in that. So I've already done a comparison between the two. And just yesterday, uh, not yesterday, the day before, I uh, did a video of the Stamparatus. So I'm going to go through the little differences and talk about them. And um, basically, it's up to you then to decide what's good for you and what you think is uh, worth your money. So you start off with the Misty. Now the Misty is $130 here in Australia. And this is just the original 6 by 8 inch one. Um, I've added a little uh, piece of clear grip, which is just a clear cling-on vinyl that doesn't leave any residue. And I have that there, so when I have my cling amount stamps that tend to fall off with the cling film, it generally stays on. So that's what I've got it there for. So I've done a little workaround for this uh, platform. Now, as you when you open it up, all of the four sides are enclosed. It comes with a... Um, a foam mat which you can use when you stamp with photopolymer stamps and you take that off and this is where you stamp with the uh, cling mount red rubber type stamps on this. This has served me well for about two and a half years, two, three years. The price point in Australia is $130 so that makes it quite steep. So it's up to you if you want to have this enclosed space and work with that. It works wonderful with, with all stamps, with Stampin' Up! stamps, with any other brand. This works fine. There's no problems with it at all. They all stamp pretty much the same. So I just put it out there, okay? Performance-wise between the three, there is really um, no difference at all in how they stamp. And I will show you that video, those videos um, in the description box that I've personally done. So this works fine. This is great. So that's $130. Then um, we have the Tim Holtz stamp platform. Now this stamp platform is eight inches by eight inches workspace. It has a removable lid. The Misty doesn't have a removable lid. It's all enclosed. So that's that very simple. This one has a removable lid, which you can pick up like so, turn it around and you can use either, this says rubber on this side here, I'm not sure if you can see that, that says rubber, so that's for your cling mount stamp, so if that's facing up, you mount your cling mount stamps here and you stamp and you're done. It has a really nice handle, I love this, and I love that it's got a metal hinge which makes it nice and sturdy. If you want to use photopolymer, you just switch it over, crank it in there, it does not come out unless it's in a certain position. So. This works with both uh, photopolymer and rubber stamps. It comes with two um, magnets. So I've just put some washi tape on it to make it um, easy for me. It's got two rulers and the base has no grids on it. It's just plain. This is great because also you can use mixed media on this. You can actually take this off altogether and use that as a mixed media workspace as well. So it's up to you how you want to use this stamp platform. It, it is it is fantastic. I've used this quite quite a bit. I love it. Now I've got an extra workaround on this one where I have used um, a little piece of foam that was from one of um, one of my electronic devices that I got. You know how they wrap those up with some foam? That's from there and I find that with photo, not all photopolymer stamps are created the same, unfortunately, and I find that with some of them, it's best to have like a little foam um, insert and it'll help it stamp more crisp. But on the whole, this stamps quite well, and with rubber stamps, it is excellent. I, I love it. So that's my little workaround, and even with the Misty, sometimes I do add one of these in there as well, 
and I stamp with that too, just for extra cushioning, because as I said, not all stamps are created equal. And this for me has worked great. No issues at all whatsoever. It works well in the corner as well. And it is very sturdy, very tough plastic. And it's quite, you know, quite tough. And it's good for those, as Tim Holt said, CPR stampers where you press really hard and nothing will happen to it. You won't really crack it. So I, I love this one. The mist has served me well as well. And I like how crisp this stamps as well. So these two have been fantastic for me. So that's this one. Then we have the Stamparatus from Stampin' Up. This is brand new and it will be available as a, a regular offering in our um, annual catalogue from June 1st. So the difference between the Stamparatus and the other two is, is that this has two hinged plates, not just the one. Okay, it comes with its own foam mat, just like the Misty, and then it has a gridded uh, magnetic base. It comes with two bar magnets, but these magnets are ridiculously strong, and I mean they are very, very strong. You cannot use the two magnets at the same time on this platform. They will find each other, and they will come together and snap. I've seen many videos doing this. So be warned, and Stampin' Up! will not replace the magnets. You'll have to purchase them separately. I'm not sure if they'll be offering them in our annual catalogue for sure. I hope they do for replacements, but we'll see. I I'm not 100% sure. I'll, I'll let you know either way. So this comes with the foam mat for your photopolymer, and that is for your cling mount rubber stamps, and that's the, how you do that. It comes with two hinges. So this is fantastic. So that means is that you can stamp two things at the same time. And I did a video on this, as I said, the day before last, and I'll link to that so you can see how it performs. And then you can flip and turn each of those um, plates, and that gives you four working surfaces. So if you've got a, a three-step stamp or a four-step stamp, not a problem. Line them up, and away you go. The downside to this stamp platform is this. It does not stamp very well in the corner. Okay, because of the hinges design, there is like a little gap up there. But on the whole, it does stamp very, very well. And um, as I said, the video will be linked underneath in the description box. My workaround, and, and it's not just me, uh, I think most demonstrators have this issue as well, is they can either add a silicone mat on the corner and help it raise up. I've just added a piece of fun foam or craft foam it's quite thin, so it's not as thick as it's. I'd say it's half the thickness of the stamp platforms, um, the stamp apparatus. Sorry, uh, foam. And what I've done is I've cut it to size so it fits perfectly onto the platform, and I've added this on top. And then you can stamp near the corner without an issue. So that's my little workaround to this. Uh, when storing it, you can only use one lid closed. The other one has to be taken off and put to the, you know, put like that neatly on top. These has grids as well on uh, both plates. One side has like the etched, the other side is just clear and um, smooth. Okay, so yeah, so you can't store this with both lids closed. Um, if you do, it will store like that and you will eventually will snap. The hinges and that defeats the purpose of the stamparatus. So my tip to you is this, price point wise in Australia the stamparatus retails will re retail for $85 so, but it gives you four working surfaces so that is completely different to the other two. Um, this is quite solid and I mean solid it's very substantial in weight and it's and it will not move on your work surface very easily. So it's got some rubber feet underneath and it's got the two bar magnets down the bottom. Um, I strongly suggest wrapping your magnets with washi tape or duct tape or um, I'm using painter's tape. I find that that's pretty good and it's very strong. And I use those. As I said, look, you can even lift up the base with, with the magnet. That's how tough it is. <laughs> And it's substantial, so be warned about the magnets. They are very, very strong. I've learnt from other 
um, demonstrators' mistakes, basically. <laughs> and thank you to them who have put up the videos to show us how strong these items can be. They're ridiculously strong. So, price point-wise, I will go through it all with you so you can um, make your own decision about what you think is a good uh, platform for you. The Misty is the most expensive and has the least features. So you just have a simple hinge, looks like a book, very, very simple, but it does stamp very well in the corners, everything, it stamps beautifully. Price point wise, this is $130. Um, for me, price point wise, that is quite expensive, but it's up to you if you want to spend that money. It is quite a solid, um, you know, quite a solid thing. And it's got two magnets as well underneath stored there. And I've put washi tape on those two just to make it easier for me to take them um, on and off. Um, this is great. It still works. So it's up to you if you want to get it. That's $130. I will still find uses for these three. I will not part with them in any way. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the original one. If you want to keep things simple, that's $130. Nothing special in terms of features, but all four sides are enclosed. So the Tim Holtz one was the next one to have been brought out. I have had a lot of use with this platform. I really love it. I like that it's got nice ergonomic handle that you can use to lift this up and down. Um, I like that you can use mixed media on it. You can use stays on with this as well, but you have to wipe it off immediately afterwards. So if you use a stays on cleaner on this, wipe it off immediately afterward, all residue, because um, it will impact with um, the plastic. It will break it down over time. So be warned with that. But I love it. I love this one. No doubt about it. I like this one as well. I love how it performs too. It performs beautifully and precisely every single time. So there's no issues with performance with this. I like that this has got an 8x8 workspace so you can really work well with the um, with you know larger sheets of paper and cardstock. So this is fantastic. Love it. I love the Stampin' Up! Stamparatus as well, not because I sell it, but because I like that it's got two removable hinges. So that means when you're making um, multiple projects um, with you know many steps to them, this will make it really, really easy. So, and you don't have to have the two on at the same time. You can have just the one, and you can position it anywhere you like. So if you like to have your corner this way. And then you can do it like that too. Put that there. No issue at all whatsoever. Um, with, both, with this machine, I mean, sorry, with this platform and this one, I've had to do a workaround for stamping to make sure that the images stamp crisply, especially with photopolymers. But as I said, not every photopolymer stamp is made exactly the same with the same height. But I find with the Tim Holtz one, I had to have put a little extra cushioning there and it works great. The Misty, I didn't have to as much. So I have to be honest there, I didn't have to as much. But I did have to stamp several times to get a crisp image. This one with the, um, with the extra little foam, I only do it once and it's great. This one as well stamps beautifully and precisely, but I had to add uh, an extra sheet of craft foam underneath so that I'm able to stamp with my photopolymers closer to the corner. If you want to stamp around here, it's not an issue, but if you want to stamp close to the corner, and it depends on which one you have, so you have to do a bit of an experimentation and see, I suggest you do put a piece of extra uh, craft foam or you can use our um, Stampin' Up silicon craft mat which also helps to just push this up a little bit and gives you a nice crisp image on the corner. So it's up to you how you want to, um, which one you want to purchase. So as I said, Stampin' Artist will retail for $85 unless you join with Stampin' Up and then you can get your 20% discount on that. The Misty tool uh, is $130 here in Australia. They do have several sizes. They have a smaller one and the mini Misty. And they have the large Misty, which is a 12 by 12 enclosed. Sorry about my uh, camera being out of focus there. Just wait up for it. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. The mini Misty is, is about $100. 
this is 130 I'm not sure what's going on with my camera I'm so sorry let it focus now yep okay so the mini mist is um, I think a hundred this is 130 and I think that the 12 by 12 is 160 but don't quote me on that one you'll have to look that up so that's quite expensive then we have the Tim Holtz stand platform which retails for $65 um, out of the three I can't say which is my favorite I'm sorry <laughs> I'm going to be honest each has something to offer something unique to offer if you want small projects for me I'll use this one if I wanted to just keep it really simple this is the one they all do the same thing so it's a matter of personal preference um, price point wise I'd say that the Tim Holtz has the better price of uh, $65 um, and if you can get on sale it's even better stamping up ones 85 but you're getting four stamp um, surfaces versus just the one with the misty or the two with this one so yeah um, it's it's different for everyone and I like to be honest the bar magnets of these and I like that they're super strong so your project won't move <laughs> on your stamp platform so on the stamparatus so it's up to you what you want to get I'm not going to sway you either way but you do get four surfaces with that one you just get the one here and you just just remove that and that just gives you your next option and the Tim Holtz one has the removable lid which I love that feature and I also love the fact that it's got a nice large working space this is great for cards too because it's slightly smaller at 7x7 seven seven. this is 8x8 eight eight, and this is 8x6 um, so yeah um, up to you but this is my comparison video all three of them perform well um, but you do have to do workarounds at times um, for, for all three depending on your stamps depth and what have you so I'll give that choice to you but this is my comparison of the three um, I hope you enjoyed today's video and it gives you some clarity as to which one you will go for but in all honesty I think the Stamparatus is one of the more revolutionary ones in that it gives you two stamped hinges which is fantastic um, and you can still work with large um, works uh, works um, sorry not workspace but it can give you large um, area for you to work with with your 12 by 12s and large and long pieces of cardstock so it's up to you guys which one you want to purchase but um, the Stamparatus is quite a good one as are the other two as well I, I cannot pick the three of them for performance it's depending on what features you want so I'll leave that up to you in your own capable hands and um, that's my thoughts for the day so I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you again very soon with another tutorial thanks so much bye